this is the packages app right here. And by default, you have, uh, oh, by the way, yeah, this is it. Okay, this is it, packages. So just download that, then you'll open it, and it's the first one, distribution. Stream Juice Intro Mac Installer. And I'll put it on the desktop. Create, and we get presented with this. So basically what we're gonna wanna do we have this sidebar right here, packages, and that's each of the um, installers. So like you'll have a, let's say an AU and a VST3. And this is actually really simple to use. So this first one, we'll click on it and we wanna change the name to just like AU. And uh, the software is kind of weird. You can't right click and change the name. You have to click in a very specific spot off to like the corner. So <laughs> you have to move the mouse right outside of the text right here. And if you click in the right spot, right there, you'll be able to change the name. So I'll just say AU and we come into this identifier and this will be the name of the uh, company. So Viator DSP. And then this is AU. So I'll make that AU. And that's basically all we have to do. And then we come into the payload right here. And this is where we're gonna put the software. Okay, so let me pull up the finder. So what we'll do is we'll take the plugins, the AU and the VSC that we want to put into the installer and we'll put it in this project. So desktop, stream juice, and I'll put it right here. Um, so we need to actually go get the plugins and stream juice intro and builds build debug whatever and here's the component did we actually build a vsc i don't think we did so this is just an alias so we have to say show original and this is the plugin folder so we'll take it out of there and we'll just put it in here there we go there's the vst same thing we'll say show original and we'll take it out of there and put it in here and now that they're out of here they shouldn't exist in logic anymore so let's open logic and make sure that it's not there that way when we make the the package and installer we can actually make sure that it it works correctly so let's go to viator dsp uh, it's supposed to be called stream something, right? Which I don't see. So we should be good there. Logic doesn't think it exists anymore. Cool. So we've got that. Go back to packages. And what we've got to do is we've got to put the plugins in the spot that it's supposed to go on the computer. So that spot is in. Go. Go to folder. It is, so we'll go to library. So it's library, audio, plugins, there's a VST and then there's a components. So we actually need to create those folders, uh, which is actually just giving this installer instructions on where to put it. So we'll go to library cause it already has library, but we need audio plugins and then VST. So this is the AU. So we'll hit the, uh, the plus button. And, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, not the plus button. Just right click, uh, new folder, and it's called audio. And then new folder, plugins, is that how, yeah, plugins like that. And then another one called components. Oh, it's not typing. Components. And then we'll put the actual file there. So the file is on the desktop and it is stream something. Stream, yep, here's the component. So we'll put that. So now the installer will put this file that we give it at this directory. And then we could do the same thing for the VST. So VST. 
three. And I'll take the same identifier and just put VST at the end of it. Like that. And then we do the same thing. We go to payload, new folder, audio. Plugins. Uh, VST, yeah. VST3. And then we'll put the VST in there. Uh, stream. Right there. VST. Add. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Hit save. Go to build. Looks like that was successful and we can go back into the folder here. Let's see stream juice intro. No, where did I put it? Desktop stream juice intro installer. Now we have a folder called build and this is the installer right here. You can upload that to your website or whatever. Give that to people. Let's go ahead and run it. Cool install. And that's it. Let's see if it actually worked. Preferences, plugin manager. Eator, look at that stream juice intro. It's there. Awesome. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Check out my streams over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash doctor underscore bruising, where I live stream juice and audio development tutorials on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 530 Central Standard Time. I'd love for you to drop into the chat, ask me questions live, and interact with me on stream. And don't forget the stream is also on my YouTube at Dr. Bruzen. You can also download the Viator DSP library that I'm currently working on to make Juice development even easier and faster with awesome looking user interface objects and DSP classes. There's also a documentation page for it, which is pretty cool, and you can find both of them on my GitHub. All of my current plugin releases are on my Patreon at Viator DSP and can be downloaded for free, but consider becoming a patron to continue to support me making free audio plugins. I'd also like to share two awesome Discord communities, Viator DSP and the audio visual community. Both are dedicated to all things audio, so music production, recording, mixing, mastering, uh, coding, juice, pretty much anything. We would love to build an active community of like-minded folks who can learn from, collaborate with, and just hang out with and do whatever. The link to all these resources are down in the video description and I can't wait to see you there. All right, see you next time.